so we have the Ring Video Doorbell Pro 2 and I also have the Ring Original Ring Pro and the Ring Video Doorbell Wired so what are the difference between these three doorbells and which one would be a better fit for your front door? Let's find out. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to compare Ring's wired doorbell lineup starting from their cheapest and pretty affordable Ring Doorbell Wired and their old but pretty capable Ring Video Doorbell Pro and their top of the line and with a premium price, the new Ring Pro 2. I've tested and reviewed these video doorbells individually and I will link those videos down below if you want to check it out. Now for the original Ring Pro, I've done its review several years ago and I've done a lot of videos about this doorbell and comparing them with other brands. And I consider the Pro as the best video doorbell for my needs, that it has been mostly in my front door since I've reviewed it October of 2017. Now I'm going to tell you the features that the Ring Pro have and that is the reason why it has been in my front door all these years. First, the 3 to 6 second pre-recording. Before other companies add these to their cameras and advertising, Ring wired cameras including the Pro have this feature. Ring now calls these advanced pre-roll. The main advantage of this because most Wi-Fi doorbells only record when it senses motion. So the pre-recording is an essential feature that I look for and this is for the camera to record 3 to 6 seconds before motion has been detected. So you'll not miss any motion events. Battery powered cameras don't have this feature except for the Ring 3 Plus and the upcoming Ring 4 which I'll be checking out when it comes out. But even then it will just be a low quality footage. Now true, wired cameras can have this feature because it is always powered and on. So it can retrieve 3 to 6 seconds of buffered memory and add it to the recording when it senses motion. Battery powered cameras cannot do this because it is off until its PIR motion sensor is triggered. So the footage you will get is when the person is already in the camera's view or worse depending on the speed of the movement, the person can be already leaving or already left. I'll talk more about this when I do a comparison between the battery and wired video doorbells. The next feature will be the fast notifications. Ring has always had notifications from 2 to 5 seconds when it detects motion. And notification cool off is less than a minute. Now the recording will be in 1 minute increments, but there will be no recording cool off as long as the motion persists. The Ring Pro will continue to record but just in 1 minute increments. Also the next feature that I'm looking for that most video doorbells don't do is the recording of both sides of the conversation. Ring has this feature on all their cameras and the only other major brands that does this is the Nest Hello and the Arlo doorbell. Ring also has the best and complete integration with Amazon Alex A that if somebody pushes the doorbell, it will automatically stream the live view to your Echo Show device. And the best part uh, yes, is, is that you can start two-way conversation. This integration makes Ring video doorbells pretty versatile that you don't have to have your phone with you to answer your doorbell. And any member of your family can answer your doorbell when they are inside the house and don't have to wait for you to find and answer from your phone. Now these features that I've mentioned are all in the new Ring Pro 2, the Ring Pro and even on the budget friendly Ring video doorbell wired. So what are the differences between these doorbells and why the Pro 2 costs 4 times more than the doorbell wired? Time to do the comparison, but before that, if you find this video and my other videos helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload comparison videos like this video, product reviews, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you. First, let's check out the video quality. So this is the video and audio quality of the Ring Video Doorbell Wired. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video and audio quality of the Ring Pro. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door.
So this is the video and audio quality of the Ring Pro 2. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell. And this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Ring Video Doorbell Wired and this with my motion uh, solar light turned on and also my front porch lights are turned on. But because the uh, wired, the Ring Video Doorbell Wired doesn't have color night vision, it is still in black and white. So this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Ring Video Doorbell Pro uh, at night and this with my solar motion light on and also my front porch lights on. So this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Range Pro 2 at night and this with my front porch light turned on, my solar motion light is also turned on and also the infrared LEDs are turned on and the color night vision is turned on. So this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is the video quality of the Ring Video Doorbell Wired and this without lights and with its infrared LEDs turned on. So this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this is video quality of the Ring Video Doorbell Pro at night, no lights and the color night vision is toggled to on and its infrared LEDs are turned on and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So this the video quality of the Ring Pro 2 uh, video doorbell and this is with no lights and the color night vision is turned off and also the infrared LEDs are turned on and the night vision is on standard mode. So this is what it looks like when I'm close to the doorbell and this is what it looks like when I'm close to the door. So we have some differences in the video quality. One thing to note is that the compression used on the Pro 2 is better than the Pro or the Wired. The bitrate is higher and there are not a lot of compression artifacts. You know those blocks that you see especially when the person is moving. The picture is also sharper as compared to the softer looking image from the Pro and the Wired. I'm not really fond of the video quality of the Pro 2 though at night or in low light conditions when it is recording in color. Like when my porch light is on, which is enough to keep its night vision from turning on. But the video quality is darker as compared to the Pro, which its sensor is able to pick up more light. The doorbell wire easily gets to night vision black and white mode even with ambient lighting and with my porch light on. And it doesn't have the color night vision option in the settings, which the Pro and the Pro 2 have. Next, we're going to compare the audio quality. This is the audio quality coming out from the ring video doorbell wire. This is the audio quality coming out from the Ring Pro. This is the audio quality coming out from the Ring Pro 
2. The Pro 2 and the doorbell wired have clearer audio compared to the Pro, which has that muffled sound. I'm not sure if it has an upgraded speaker, but the speaker placement has changed to the bottom side of the doorbell on both the new Pro 2 and the doorbell wired, compared to the side for the older Pro. Audio quality and the recorded footage are about the same though. Next, let's talk about accessories that comes with these doorbells. The ring wired because it is stripped down version doesn't come with accessories like the Pro. You will not get any extra faceplates or mounting kits with the wired. Also, the wire will not ring your existing chime and it will only come with a jumper wire that you need to connect to your chime box so as to give the doorbell consistent power. You need to buy a separate ring chime or use your echo device as a chime. Faceplates and mounting accessories are available for purchase. The ring doorbell wired is way smaller to size as compared to the other two and the mounting screw holes are not the same. But you can purchase the retrofit kit specifically for the doorbell wired and you can repurpose the older mounting holes you have if you are replacing your first gen ring doorbell, the Pro, Doorbell 2, 3, or 3 Plus. As to the new Pro 2, it also comes with limited accessories compared to the older Pro. It only comes with a silver faceplate, but supposedly you will also get an email with a voucher to redeem another faceplate in any color that ring sells for free. But since I bought and installed this doorbell, the only email I received is the welcome email. I contacted Ring which suggests checking my spam folder which I did but didn't find the email still. So they're going to send me a replacement code. So you might want to contact Ring if you didn't get this email. Now with the Pro 2 you will also get a corner mount. And also this Pro 2 and the Ring Pro comes with a Pro Power Kit which you also need to install to your existing doorbell chime. But aside from giving consistent power to your doorbell, it will also ring it when somebody pushes the doorbell. Please note though that Ring suggests that if you have an existing power kit to replace it with a new one. With the Pro 2, I also noticed that the chime responds almost instantaneously, while with the older Pro, there is a delay for the chime to ring. As to the original Ring Pro, you do get 4 faceplates total, a wedge and corner mount, and the retrofit kit. And as to the mounts, the Pro and the Pro 2 are almost the same size and design. But there's some differences that faceplates are not interchangeable. The Ring Pro 2 has a curve in the back that its corner and wedge mounts will not fit with the Pro. But the Pro's wedge and corner mounts will work with the new Pro 2. Except that you need to mount it with a smooth side on the doorbell and not on the other and recommended side. The Pro 2's wedge and corner mounts are also angled more than the Pro's. 25 degrees for the corner mount compared to 15 degrees on the Pro's. 10 degree angle on the wedge on the Pro 2 compared to the 5 degrees on the Pro Wedge. How about differences of the features in the settings on the app? The Pro 2 will have all the features like 3D motion detection which uses a radar to be more accurate in detection. But this feature is still dependent on your motion zones and sensitivity. Personally, I don't see the benefit of this feature yet in my setup because half of the view of my doorbell is a wall. I like that it has the bird's eye view though. I'll probably appreciate this feature more when I get the new floodlight cam. I'll test this feature some more then. As to video settings, the Pro 2 has HDR or high dynamic range and the two other doorbells don't have this. It also has color night vision and also the same as the regular Pro while the wire doesn't have this feature. The Pro 2 also has control on its night vision. You can basically turn on both infrared LEDs on or only turn on one or turn it off completely. The Pro and the Wire doesn't have this setting. In the general settings, the Pro 2 has speaker volume and also it will work with your existing chime. The Pro doesn't have the speaker volume and the Wire doesn't have the speaker volume and also no settings for your existing chime. As to smart responses, Alex A greetings and quick replies, the Pro 2 and Pro has this feature and the Wire doesn't. But because the Pro speaker is not that great, I'm not really sure if I'm going to turn it on on the Pro. But with the Pro 2, this feature works great. Okay, I think I mentioned everything about these three doorbells. Now what do I think? So the wired cost 60 bucks, the Pro $170, and the Pro 2 $250. Big difference in the price. So if you're just starting to dabble on video doorbells and want to test out the Ring, the Ring Video Doorbell Wired is the best choice. Or even for Pro users, if your Ring Pro is not performing well because you had it for several years and not really wanting to cough out $250 for the Pro 2 then the wired will have all the features of the Pro, except for color night vision, smart responses, and not able to ring your chime box. Video quality of the wired and the Pro are almost the same. 
As to the Pro 2, if you want the best video quality out of Ring's doorbell line and needing a wider field of view, then this is your doorbell. It has all the bells and whistles. It has better audio and Ring uses lesser compression which makes the footage smoother, sharper, and not a lot of compression artifacts. So what do you think guys? What is your pick? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.